Hi, I'd like to go over a little bit about accessible PDFs and inaccessible PDFs. So I have some documents in my drive and the apps that I'm going to be looking at now are Voice Dream Reader. I also have loaded on my iPad Voice Dream Scanner and that is needed to allow Voice Dream Reader to um, process and do the optical character recognition on an inaccessible PDF. So you can also open up Voice Dream Scanner and use that directly by taking a picture of a page or um, using a photo from your camera roll. But I'll show you how you can get this um, one from Google Drive into Voice Dream Reader. So I'm gonna go to Drive here and I have a couple of documents up top and one is accessible and one is not. Plural nouns, readable PDF, was a PDF that was made from a Word document, so it can be uh, read aloud. Like if I use my speak screen uh, gesture here, which I've already set up in settings, so two fingers from the top onto the iPad. One plural nouns readable PDF dot PDF. No, name. Plural nouns complete each set. Okay, so that's can be read. I can also use my speak selection by highlighting some text and choosing speak. Concerns. Okay. That's an accessible PDF, we call it. There's lots of things you can do with this now. And now let me show you a, a PDF that's basically a scan or even a photograph of a page. Uh, teachers might be sharing a lot of photos they're just grabbing with their phone, and you don't have the option to listen to that. So I'll try to use my speak screen here. One early republic dbqv2.pdf. No. So it read the title, but it didn't read the document. So now we want to take this document and process it so I can listen to it. So what we can do, one way to do this, there's more than one, is go to the action or send to button. There's three dots in the upper right. And when I tap that, I get a list I can open in, which is about in the middle. And then I'm going to get suggestions of the apps on my iPad and since I already have Voice Dream Reader in there, if I don't see it on the bar that I'm scrolling left and right, I might find it under more. So there's more and yet down at the bottom, copy to Voice Dream. So let me open that. And there's my document. When I first take this inaccessible PDF into Voice Dream Reader, it says, this document appears to be a scan. Would you like to perform OCR on it? I'm gonna say yes. And it's working on it. And now it's at the top of my list here. And when I open it, uh, my settings right now, it's opening in plain text. Plain text allows me to do a lot of visual settings, um, lots of great options there for visual settings. I'm gonna show you the original layout we also can look at the original layout, but still listen to it if we like. There's a play button, so let me play. Early Republic document-based question, DBQ, version number two, directions. The following question is based on the accompanying documents. Okay, so great, that's did a good job. It's reading to us, and we can listen to this document. I also can take it now into other apps. Let's say it was something that I wanted to write on with my Apple Pencil or open in um, an app where I could use uh, text and, and write on this document to complete it. So that's an overview of Google Drive PDFs, inaccessible and accessible, and ways that you can work with them. Okay.